close your eyes and breathe comfortably. It's a way of showing goodwill for yourself. It's not like those ways that they recommend, say, on Dove Chocolates, where they basically say, be kind to yourself, eat more chocolate. This is actually something good for you. The breath is free. It's your own territory. You can breathe any way you want. It has no impact on other people. Except that if you breathe uncomfortably, some of your sense of discomfort may spill out on others. And if you breathe comfortably, the mind is in a better mood. Maybe some of that goodness will spill out on others. So it's not a selfish activity we're doing here. It's part of our efforts to create a sense of goodwill that is impervious to change as outside. That doesn't have to depend on other people being good. The Buddha has you hold that perception in mind that your goodwill is as large as the earth, solid, as large and as cool as the river Ganges, as large as space. You want to hold those perceptions in mind. And think of your goodwill as something too big to fail. Now this, of course, doesn't mean that it won't have moments where it's beginning to totter. Just like the banks, they say, are too big to fail. Every now and then they do something really stupid, and they require a huge inflow of cash. What it means, of course, is that they're in too, too important to fail. You can't let them fail. In the same way with your goodwill, you can't let it fail. Okay, you start, if you start having ill will for other people, then you're going to behave in unskillful ways toward them. And that becomes your bad karma. And you've been a bad example for the world. As the Buddha said, you look after your goodwill in the same way a mother would look after her only child. You defend your goodwill with your life in the same way that she would defend her child with her life. So regard your goodwill as that important, something you want to keep strong. All too often we have the perception that people who are kind and have lots of goodwill are basically weak. They're not strong enough to assert themselves. But goodwill is their real strength. It protects you from your unskillful impulses, and it provides a foundation for the practice. The Buddha often couples goodwill with patience and endurance. So that's where the strength is. You want your goodness to be independent. So you're patient and you have goodwill. In this way you benefit others and you benefit yourself. So always regard your goodwill as too big to fail. Give it that measure of importance. and you'll be repaid many times over.